You're getting to be a big boy. I'm just a kid who's four. Each day I grow some more. I like exploring. I'm Caillou. So many things to do. Each day is something new. I'll share them with you. I'm Caillou. My world is turning, changing each day. With mommy and daddy, I'm finding my way. Growing up is not so tough. Except when I've had enough. But there's lots of fun stuff. I'm It's story time, kids. Now, let's see. This story happened when Caillou was only three, and Rosie was just a baby. Today's story is called Caillou Goes Shopping. Caillou, time to get up. It's snowing outside. Look. Hey! I want to make a snowman. <laughs> let's get you dressed first. Now, where are your sweaters? But I want to wear these. <laughs> if you wear shorts outside, you'll feel as cold as a snowman. There's no more cereal. We'll get some when we go shopping. And we need some eggs, too, because I'm making a special surprise cake. Special surprise cake? Yay! Caillou and Rosie <laughs> always liked Mommy's special surprise cakes. But they never knew exactly what the surprise would be. Caillou, it's time to go to the store. Put on your coat and boots. But, Mommy, I want to play with my dinosaur. You can play with him later. Now, come on, we're waiting for you. Caillou liked to go shopping, but he always took a long time to get ready because he liked playing, too. Caillou, get in the car, please. Are we going to make a snowman? Well, yes. As a matter of fact, we are. Yay! A snowman! But right now, we have to get going. Mommy, I want to ride like Rosie. <sighs> okay, but let's get going, or there won't be time to make that snowman. I want these. Caillou, we're having a special surprise cake, remember? So we don't need cookies, too, okay? What is the special surprise cake? If I tell you, I'll spoil the surprise. Now, when we get to the checkout, I want you to look after Rosie while I take care of the groceries. All Caillou could think about were those cookies, but he forgot exactly where he'd seen them. Before he knew it, he was all alone, lost, and feeling afraid. Mommy! Mommy! Where are you? Mommy! Caillou, what happened? <laughs> No, Caillou, you did. But I'm very glad we found you. Let's go home. Caillou was still feeling upset, but he was very happy to see his Mommy and Rosie again. I didn't like it when I was lost, Mommy. I didn't like it either, sweetie. So let's make sure you don't get lost again. Now, let's finish making that special surprise cake. But I wanted to make a snowman. We are going to make a snowman. Only we're going to make him right here in the kitchen. The special surprise cake! Yay! Caillou and Rosie were absolutely right. They had guessed what Mommy's surprise was going to be. Mommy, look! He's really a snowman! Grr, then he must be cold. Let's give him a scarf. Anyone up for a story? Come and sit by the fire. It's nice and cozy. Let's start. Tonight's story is called Caillou Snowman. <laughs> Got one. Me too. <laughs> Let's make a snowman. A snowman? Wow. Do you want to help me? Caillou thought that was a great idea even though he didn't know exactly how to make a snowman. Yes! Why don't you start making the head? I'll make his body. Okay. Gonna make a snowman, gonna make a snowman. Hmm, I can do that. Hey! Oof. I can't do 
it. I hate making the snowman. How's the head coming along, Caillou? Hmm. I can't make it. You can? Don't worry, I'll show you how. We're going to make the biggest snowman in the world. The biggest snowman in the world? In the universe. <laughs> I think that snowball is big enough. Let's make new ones. Oh. <laughs> First, you have to make a tiny snowball. See? Caillou liked having Sarah to show him what to do. Oh. A snowball! You did it! But Caillou wouldn't stop. Sarah didn't think the game was funny anymore. Fine. If you don't want to make a snowman, I'm leaving. No, stay, please. I want to make a snowman with you. Now look, it's easy. I'm finished. All right, let's put our snowman together. We have to put it on top of this one. Are you ready? <sighs> oh, I think it will hold. Now we need a head. That's your snowball. Okay. Uh. Hi, kids. I have a surprise for you. Look in the bag. A carrot? We can use it to make the snowman's nose. Wow. <laughs> the bag was full of great surprises. And very soon, the snowman had a big smile on his face. Hmm, I have something else. Let's see if it fits. Look, Sarah, he's beautiful. And he's the biggest snowman in the universe. Wonderful. Now, how about coming inside for a snack? Wait! What's this? It's a snowball. No. It's a snack for the snowman. <laughs> this is the story of when Caillou learned to skate. It happened on a winter day, just like today. Ever since Caillou watched a hockey game with his mommy and daddy, he wanted to skate. So his daddy made a skating rink in the backyard and bought him his first pair of skates. be a hockey player. <laughs> Good, but first we need to learn to skate. I can skate fastest in the world. <laughs> Look, Mommy, he fell down. Hmm, so I'll be skating with the world champion. That's great. <laughs> See? Soon you'll be able to skate like this. Okay, now the first thing you have to learn is how to stand. Caillou discovered that skating wasn't as easy as he thought it would be. This should help until you get the hang of it. And now you're ready to skate. Oh. I don't want to skate anymore. It's too hard. I know it isn't easy, but I'm very proud of you for trying. Let's do it again. Caillou was tired of falling and falling, but he did feel like trying one more time with his daddy. I want to try again. Good for you. You're doing great, Caillou. Oh, no! Look, Daddy! I can do it! <laughs> Yay! Look at me! Whoa. Whoa. Are you all right, Caillou? Hmm. Caillou! 
You're skating! You're really skating! Look, Mommy! I'm skating! Who wants some hot chocolate? After falling a lot, Caillou was finally getting the hang of it. Except... Oh. Mommy! Daddy! Yes, dear? <laughs> I guess your next lesson will be how to turn. And then we'll have to think about getting you a hockey stick. A hockey stick? Wow! Story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Makes Cookies. It all happened when Caillou was just three years old. La, 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 Caillou, you have to play quietly now. Rosie's going to take her nap. You? But I want to play. You can still play, just do it quietly. Caillou felt that being quiet wasn't as much fun as being noisy. Caillou? I asked you to play quietly. Cookies! I want cookies! I'm hungry! So, Caillou went to the kitchen. Oh. Honey! decided to make some honey cookies. And so, Caillou got to work, making a whole bunch of honey cookies. Fat ones, skinny ones, flat ones, and round ones. Oh, Caillou! What are you doing? <laughs> I'm making cookies. Look at the mess you made. Do you want to help Mommy clean it up? Yes, Mommy. Me and you. We have to make sure the kitchen is nice and clean. Now, where's that dustpan? I found it! <laughs> <laughs> That's the way, my favorite helper. Caillou. Caillou was very proud. He was helping Mommy make cookies. Mommy? You made a mess. <laughs> You're right. Mommy makes messes, too. <laughs> Daddy, Daddy, try the cookies. Try the cookies. Mmm, who made these good cookies? I did, and Mommy helped. What are you making, Caillou? A big mess. Come on, kids. It's Caillou story time. What's the story called, Grandma? It's called Caillou Isn't Afraid Anymore. It all happened when Caillou was three years old. Mr. Hinkle lived next door. Lots of children said there was a ghost in his scary old house. Mr. Hinkle's house sure looked spooky. And so did Mr. Hinkle. Why, Caillou, what's the matter? It's Mr. Hinkle. He's scary. Why do you say that? 
Mr. Hinkle is scary. Look, he wants to catch me. He's not there. And besides, I know Mr. Hinkle, and he's very nice. Why, hello there, Caillou. <gasps> Mommy! Poor Mr. Hinkle felt sad when he saw Caillou run away. Don't be frightened. Mr. Hinkle came over to say he was sorry you were scared. He's really a nice man. I don't like him. I think you're just afraid of Mr. Hinkle because you don't know him. Hello? Can I come in? Come in, Mr. Hinkle. Caillou, Mr. Hinkle would like to... Caillou? Oh, but where did Caillou go? I don't know. He was here a minute ago. Oh, boy. I think he's playing hide-and-go-seek. And I love playing hide-and-go-seek. Ready or not, Caillou, here we come. Now, where, oh, where could he be? Caillou! You! Where are you? Shh! Gilbert, they're hear us. Oop! I think Caillou's hiding downstairs. We're getting warmer. I wonder if he's in here. I don't see him. No, he's not here. Let's check another room. <laughs> There's only one place left where Caillou could be. <laughs> I think I'm getting warmer and warmer. Caillou forgot all about being scared of Mr. Hinkle. Aha! <laughs> 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 Well, I'm glad to see you two are friends now. I want to play again. I'd like that very much, Caillou. And this time, I'll hide and you can seek. I like you, Mr. Hinkle. Aha! <laughs> Grandma, this is dinner time, not story time. Well, this is a story about dinner time and eating your vegetables. Back when Caillou was just three years old, he didn't like vegetables very much. In fact, he hated them. Caillou, eat your vegetables. Grandpa will be coming soon to take you to the park. But you can't go to the park if you don't finish your vegetables. I hate vegetables. I want chocolate chip cookies. Cookies are for dessert, Caillou. You can have a cookie after you finish your vegetables. I love vegetables. Eat my vegetables, Daddy. Oh, no, you don't. At least try to eat your vegetables, Caillou. Grandpa's here! Come on, Caillou, let's go to the park. Going to the park with Grandpa. And after the park, we'll go see Grandma. She's making us supper. Wow, a caterpillar. Caterpillars eat leaves so they can have the energy to turn into butterflies. Turn into butterflies? What's the bird doing, Grandpa? It's looking for worms to eat. Worms give them the energy they need to fly south for the winter. And squirrels eat nuts. They save them up for later when it gets too cold to go outside. Come here, squirrel! We're home, and we're hungry as bears. That's because we are bears. Rawr.
peas and carrots. Mm -hmm, yummy. Bears eat berries. Tonight, these peas and carrots are our berries. Roar! I'm a bear. Roar! Later that night, Mom and Dad drop by to pick up Caillou. And how was Caillou today? Roar! I'm a bear. I'm a bear, too. And we both ate all our vegetables. We ate our berries, Grandpa. And that means it's time for... Cookies! Story time, kids. Here it is, silly. Caillou wasn't lost at all. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called... Caillou's All Alone. Whee! Mommy, Mommy, can I have some juice? Oh! Do you want to play with me, Mommy? Shh, Caillou, I'm busy. Fourteen, fifteen. Can I help you count? One, two, three, four. Caillou, this is very difficult. I can help you, I can help you. 16, 20, 1, 2, 3. Oh no, Caillou. Look what you've done. Caillou, I really need to be left alone right now. I'm too busy to play. Why don't you go find Daddy? Maybe he'll play with you. Caillou had really wanted his mommy to play with him. Wait a minute, maybe Daddy could play with him. But Caillou didn't know his daddy was very busy, too. Daddy, Daddy! Wow, is it broken? Not anymore. I fixed it. Oh, no! no! You look just like a snowman, Daddy. Look, I'm a snowman, too. Look, Daddy. Caillou, I have a lot of cleaning up to do, and I really need to do it alone. Why don't you go and find Grandma? Caillou was quite sure Grandma would like to hear all about his daddy's troubles with the washing machine. There's a good girl, Rosie. Close your eyes, dear. Hmm. I thought she'd never get to sleep. Ah, at last. Grandma, Grandma, look at <gasps> me! I'm a snowman! Shh! Caillou! Shh! Rosie's sleeping. Daddy was fixing the washing machine, and all these bubbles came out all over him. There were bubbles everywhere, Grandma. Shh! Caillou, please be quiet. You'll wake up Rosie. <laughs> Caillou, Rosie and I really need to be left alone. Why don't you go and play with Gilbert? Gilbert, you'll play with me, won't you? Oh. Maybe Mommy's finished counting. I'm sorry, Caillou. I just have to be on my own right now. Do you want to play with me? Yay! Caillou, come on down, honey. It's time for your snack. Caillou was enjoying himself so much, he never even heard his mommy calling. Caillou? <laughs> Are you all right? We were a bit worried about you being here all alone. What are you doing? Nothing. Just playing. Story time, kids. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Tidies His Toys. Caillou, where are you? <laughs> well, it's not like Caillou to disappear when we're having chocolate pudding. That's right. Caillou adores chocolate pudding. Hey, wait for me. Just look at this mess. What did I tell you, Caillou? I'm not supposed to leave my toys on the stairs. 
Caillou knew very well he wasn't supposed to leave his toys on the stairs. Put them in your room, please, Caillou. Chocolate pudding? I love chocolate pudding. Caillou, come here, please. Hmm, that sounds important. I think you'd better go and see what Daddy wants. Caillou, what have I told you about leaving your toys in the driveway? I'm not supposed to. That's right. So I want you to put them away. What about my chocolate pudding? Your chocolate pudding can wait. Here, I'll help you. Even though his daddy was going to help him, Caillou still wasn't very happy. Caillou, I want a word with you. Uh-oh. Caillou, you have to tidy up all these toys. Then you can have your chocolate pudding. Yes, daddy. Are you sure we picked up all your toys? I'm sure. Look! Then it's chocolate pudding time! Yay! Chocolate pudding! Oops! I think you better take a look at this. so much space. I know. And there's lots of old ones you don't really play with anymore. What should we do? You could give some of the old ones to Rosie. I could give her one toy and maybe some more later. What you really need is a big box to put your toys in. Would you like to help me make one? Wow, yes! As soon as I finish my chocolate pudding. <laughs> <laughs> there. That should do it. Thank you, Daddy. Let's see if the lid fits properly. Story time, kids! Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou Learns to Drive. <laughs> Have you seen Caillou anywhere? He said he wanted to help me with the car. I think he's in the garden, <laughs> driving his car. Beep, beep! Caillou's in his car! <laughs> now you probably know that Caillou loves anything to do with cars and buses and trucks. There you are. Daddy! Did you forget? You said you wanted to help me wash the car. <laughs> Caillou imagined he was driving the most fantastic car you ever saw. Hello, Mr. Lion. me do. Oops. <laughs> Daddy, you're all wet. What happened? Caillou had no idea that he was the one who made his daddy spray himself with water. Well, it was an accident. 
Don't I look silly? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Do you still want to help me? You bet. I was driving the car, Daddy. Is that right? Yes. I love cars, you know. Mm, I know you do. I used to love cars when I was little, too. And you still love cars. Look, Mommy. It's all clean and shiny. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go for a picnic at the beach. Hello, Mr. Lion. Can I drive the car when I'm bigger, Daddy? Will you teach me? Of course, Caillou. Of course. It's time for a story, you guys. Let's see where Caillou went today. Today's story is called Caillou at Daycare. It was Caillou's first day, and he was a little bit nervous. I don't want to go, Mommy. I want to stay with you. Oh, so do I, Caillou, but you know, Mommy has to go to work. And daycare can be fun. You hear that? Hello, I'm Ann Martin, the teacher. And you must be Caillou. Caillou was scared and shy. Now I'm going to have to go, honey. <laughs> no, I don't want you to go, Mommy. I'll be back, Caillou. Don't be sad. Even Caillou's mommy was sad to leave him at daycare for the first time. Here, Caillou, have a glass of apple juice. Do you want me to introduce you to the other children? Okay, maybe after your juice, then. Your mommy's gone. Hi, I'm Clementine. What's your name? Uh, Caillou. That's Leo. He doesn't like to share. Do you want to play? I'm doing cutouts. See, here's an apple, and that's a banana, and this is raisin toast. You can't eat them, though. They're only pretend. Do you like daycare? I like staying at my grandma's better. That's where you stay when your mom and dad are busy? She's an artist, and I get to play with paints and brushes and paper and crayons and chalk and colored pencils. We got all that stuff here. Oh, boy! I'm going to paint a... a robin. I'll do cutouts of what robins eat. That's worms! That's a good robin. Could, could you teach me how to paint like that? Sure, Leo, if you teach us how to build a castle. A castle has to have lots of towers. A worm has to have lots of twists. And a robin has to have lots of red. Here, Leo. You can make a flag for the castle. Caillou! We have to make this tower higher. Caillou was having so much fun playing, he didn't even notice his mommy and daddy. Look, I'm making a castle. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, it's story time, kids. Caillou doesn't look very happy. I wonder why. Today's story is called, Caillou Joins the Circus. <laughs> Yay! <sighs> Gilbert, I dreamed about a tiger. Daddy's taking me to the circus today. He promised. I'm getting dressed all by my...
myself. Daddy will be so happy. Oops. Oh. Ouch. Oh no, I forgot to brush my teeth. Look, I got dressed all by myself. Ah, I can see that. And you did a very good job. But it's so early. I don't want to be late for the circus. The circus? Oh no, Caillou, that's not today. The circus isn't until tomorrow. No, no, it's today. <laughs> I got all dressed. <laughs> it's today. Come on, Caillou. Come downstairs and help me make breakfast. No. was in a very bad mood because he wasn't going to the circus. Caillou, stop all this racket. You woke up Rosie. I want you to come downstairs right now. Even Caillou's daddy was starting to get angry. Why can't I go to the circus? I want to go to the circus. Let's make toast. We can cut it into little duckies, like Grandma does. No, I don't want to make duckies. That's for babies. Well then, how about a circus breakfast? We can cut circus animals out of toast to have with our boiled eggs. But wait a minute. We're missing something. Something that comes before the circus animals. Now, what could that be? A parade? A circus parade? Of course, that's it. I can get the eggs. <laughs> Whoa. If you wanted scrambled eggs, you should have said so. It's not my fault. I know, Caillou. It wasn't anybody's fault. It was an accident. Daddy, the toast! Hot, hot, hot! Ouch, ouch, ouch! <laughs> you can be in the circus, Daddy. You're a good juggler. <laughs> and Rosie can be the clown. Uh, what's Yay! going on here? We're having a circus. Do you want to be in our parade, Mommy? Oh, are you going to be the lady who rides the horse? I don't think so, sweetheart. I think I'll be the lady who marches back to bed. <laughs> <laughs> Story time, kids. This all happened when Caillou was just three years old. Today's story is called Caillou is Afraid in the Dark. Good night, Caillou. Have sweet dreams. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. Okay. Sleep tight. Don't let the bed bugs bite. <laughs> Just shadows. But what about the scratchy monster? I don't hear a scratchy monster. There is a scratchy monster in here. He's making scratchy sounds. I'm sure you think you heard something. But there's no need to be afraid of monsters. Do you know why? Because monsters aren't real. They're just make-believe. Good night, dear. I'm not afraid of monsters. I'm not Afraid of monsters. Oh. Uh. Huh? It's okay, Caillou. It's just your toy, Snakey. Yes, but there was a flying monster and a scratchy monster. It's in my room. You probably just imagined you heard something, Caillou. I can't find anything. But the scratchy monster, he went... Try listening to the music box. It'll make happy sounds for you while you sleep. Good night, Caillou.
The wind was making the tree branch hit the window. That's what was making the scary noise. See, darling? Sometimes ordinary things can seem scary. So the scratchy monster was just the tree? Look! The scratchy monster! It wasn't a monster. It was just Gilbert. That cat. You'll be able to sleep fine now, dear. With a little help from Teddy. <sighs> I hope there won't be any more scary sounds. I know how Teddy can help make sure there won't be any more scary sounds. Good, Good night, night, Caillou. Caillou. What's the matter, kids? Our friends are supposed to come and they're not here. Well, while we're waiting, it's story time. Now, what did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Caillou's Friends. Caillou was feeling very sorry for himself. Whatever's the matter, Caillou? You don't look very happy. I've got nobody to play with. Don't you have any friends? No, I don't. At that moment, Caillou really thought he didn't have any friends. And that made him feel even more sad and lonely. I'm sure you must have some friends. Let's see if we can think of one. What about that nice girl, Clementine? Clementine loves candies. Can I? Nope. Okay. Want some? Oh, no! I'm putting the yellow ones in a row. Caillou, that candy was on the floor. It's not going in your mouth. Wait a minute. I have some more here. They're clean. Well, that's one friend. Do you have any others? I don't think so. Let's see now. What about that boy, Leo? <laughs> Leo's funny. <laughs> What's so funny, you two? Nothing, Mommy. <laughs> <laughs> well, now, that's two friends. Do you have any others? No. Really? What about Gilbert? Isn't he your friend? Yay! Caillou had forgotten about Gilbert. Of course Gilbert was his friend. Yay, Gilbert, you're my friend. Caillou was much happier now. He started out thinking he didn't have any friends. But now he knew he had three. And now that he knew he had three friends, Caillou began to think about whether he had any more. Rosie's my sister, Grandma, but she's my friend too. That's right. Caillou? Hello, everybody. Hello, Mr. Hinkle. And Mr. Hinkle's my friend, too. I have lots of friends, don't I, Grandma? Yes, you do. <sighs> Look who's coming. It's Mommy and Daddy. Mommy, Daddy, you're my friends, and so's Rosie and Gilbert and Mr. Hinkle and Clementine and Leo. Are those all your friends? Yes. Aren't you forgetting someone? Oh, yes! And you're my friend too, Grandma. I hope this will make you feel better. It's story time! When Caillou was three, he got a really bad earache. And today's story is called, Caillou Visits the Doctor. I don't want to see the doctor, Mommy. Why not, Caillou? The doctor hurt me. You're much better now. It won't hurt this time. The doctor's ready for you now, Caillou. Now come along, Caillou. The doctor's nice. I don't like her. My dinosaur's going to bite the doctor. Caillou?
Hello, Caillou. How nice to see you again. Now, how's that ear coming along? Let's take a look. No! My dinosaur is going to bite you! Oh, so your dinosaur isn't happy to see me. Hmm. Do you think he'd mind if I looked in your ear? Last time Caillou was at the doctor's, his ear hurt him a lot. So this is what's bothering you. You put that in my ear, you hurt me. Would you like to look through it, Caillou? It's really interesting. Okay. Well, can I look in your ear now? You're much better and it won't hurt like last time. Okay. I'm very pleased. You'll be all better in a day or two. Oh, no. He's not going to bite me, is he? Ah, I see. You want me to check the dinosaur's ear. Yes. Hmm. Hmm. I think you must have been giving him the right medicine, Dr. Caillou. Well done, Dr. Caillou. Your dinosaur's all better now. When Dr. Caillou got home, he couldn't wait to find someone with an earache. It's funny in your ears, Gilbert. <laughs> I want to look in your ear. <laughs> this story. <laughs> Excuse me. Now let's see. What did Caillou do today? Today's story is called Big Brother Caillou. It all happened back when Caillou was a very little boy, about two and a half years old. Baby sister coming, Mommy? Very soon, Caillou. I'm going to the hospital today. Grandma will look after you. A few days later, Caillou was very excited because he was going to meet Rosie for the very first time. Mommy here! Daddy here! We're home! All three of us! Say hello to your new sister, Caillou. This is Rosie. Caillou wasn't sure if he liked Rosie. Oh, she's just beautiful! She's absolutely adorable! Isn't she gorgeous? She's my special girl. <coughs> Rosie wasn't very happy, and neither was Caillou. Nobody was paying attention to him. He thought they only cared about Rosie. Caillou was so unhappy, he didn't even like his doll anymore. Would you like to rock the baby, Caillou? No! Caillou didn't know if he liked Rosie very much. Okay. Maybe later. wasn't happy to see him pinching Rosie. Caillou, why did you do that to Rosie? I don't like Rosie. Why not? Rosie doesn't play with me. But she's only a baby. She's just too little to play with you now. It's not easy being a big brother, is it? But now that you are a big brother, you can protect Rosie since she's so small. Say, would you like to help me? I can't do this by myself. Caillou, would you pass me the diaper, please? P 
P U. So, you've been feeling a bit left out of things too, have you, Gilbert? All changed? Yes, I helped Daddy. Would you like to hold her, Caillou? Yes, please, Mommy. Watch her head. <coughs> what is it, Caillou? Rosie smells good. 